Seeing as the guy has been referred to as the real-life Iron Man, I think practically no one would be surprised to know that Elon Musk likes to live like the billionaire he is. With that being said though, once you really get deep into the guy's multi-million dollar collection, you can't help but be amazed at just how incredible his collection can be. And so if you're interested in finding out more, buckle up. Because in this video, we're going to explore everything from good old Ford Model T's to cars of the future in Elon Musk's car collection. Collection. Like all car collections that grow to be significant, there has to be one original car that started it all. And like Jay Leno and other enthusiasts before him, Elon's start was shockingly humble, especially when compared to today in the form of a 1978 BMW 320i. A pretty standard used car, Elon bought it as a regular transport as soon as he had moved to the States for the meager sum of $1,400. Far from the mind-bending cars that he would later develop, the 320i was still a pretty advanced car for its time. And more importantly, it also showed for the first time the way the guy was headed. Seeing as in a later interview, Musk said that he was in fact the guy who fixed up the car. Did that have any correlation with him becoming chief engineer of one of the world's most incredible projects? I'll leave that question up to you guys. Moving on, we must now give you some bad news. Because as it turns out, the 320i did not last super long. And after having owned it for two years, Musk had to say goodbye to the car when an intern at his company drove the car into an accident. But the bad times did not last long, because soon afterwards, Musk got one of his first proper self-indulgent moments when he received the bonus for the company he had founded called Zip2 by buying a Jaguar E-Type. Now, when Musk got the $40,000 bonus, instead of investing it into something new like he would usually do, seeing as he had just become carless, Musk decided to treat himself to a childhood dream. See, as Musk would later reveal, when he was 17, he was looking through a classic car book, as 17-year-olds are often known to do. And like anyone else who's flipped through those pages, he told himself that if he could ever afford it, he would buy one. And that's where the relatable part ends. Because unlike you and me who's dreamt of a classic 60s Jaguar, Musk actually managed to buy one and drive it for quite a while. Now, a word to the wise. Those cars, however cool they may look, are not known for being the most convenient to drive. And sure, that's good for a car collection, but driving it daily was another affair, one Elon would describe as like a bad girlfriend. It kept breaking down on me and causing me all sorts of trouble. And so, when a few years later he sold PayPal for a historic $1.5 billion, Elon decided he needed another addition to the collection, which turned out to be none other than a McLaren F1. Now, if you're not a car geek like me, the McLaren F1 is the car that Iron Man would have dreamed of if the movie came out in the 90s. From being one of the most exclusive pieces of automotive history to being the fastest car on the road for the longest period of any modern car, the list of praises goes on and on, all of which made it the perfect car for Elon Musk. That is, until he crashed it. That's right, during an interview about the car, Elon recalled the experience. I had it for several years and I put 11,000 miles on it and I drove it from LA to San Francisco and I had it as a daily driver. And also recalled the time when he was driving with PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel when the following happened. Peter said, so what can this do? And like probably number one on the list of famous last words, I said, watch this. So I floored it and did a lane change on Sand Hill. And almost immediately, the car swerved out of control, hit an embankment, and actually flew in the air like a discus before crashing. The next car added to his collection was another jaw dropper, and one that somehow suited him even more than the F1 or E-Type. That's right, we're talking about the famous James Bond Lotus Esprit. That's right, in 2013, Elon Musk became the proud owner of the exact car that had tormented the imagination of kids for generations ever since they saw James Bond drive the thing underwater in The Spy Who Loved Me. Talking of the experience, he once told the Huffington Post, It was amazing as a little kid in South Africa to watch James Bond and the spy who loved me drive his Lotus Esprit off a pier, press a button, and have it transform into a submarine underwater. I was disappointed to learn that it can't actually transform. What I'm going to do is upgrade it with a Tesla electric powertrain and try to make it transform for real. Now while to the ears of Elon that might sound like a deal breaker, you must also understand the fact that the guy bought the car on auction for a whopping 920 
$20,000. There's my favorite Playboy. Now, moving on to some slightly less interesting cars, first we have the Audi Q7, which, as it turns out, directly led to the famous Falcon Wing doors in the Tesla Model S. This was a result of the horrible way the third row accessed by climbing over the middle row, or as he put it, in the best case scenario, you need to be a dwarf mountain climber to get into the back seat. One car which was surely not a disappointment, however, is a Hammond BMW M5. Driven by Elon for a small period of time in 2007, this baby is to a standard BMW what a BMW is to a Corolla, and goes to show just how important it is to Elon to have a fast car. And while it can't compete with the sheer brutal speed of his modern cars, with a monstrous 603 horsepower 5 liter V10, I doubt the thing felt slow. And as it turns out, that's not the only time that Elon has been seen driving good old fashioned horsepowers because he's also said to have owned a few Porsche 911s. In fact, in the case of the 911, Musk has actually admitted just how much he enjoys driving the German car, quoting it as one of his absolute favorites to drive. And that finally brings us back to the last unusual car on the list, a pristine 1920 Ford Model T. In 2007, Elon surprised many fans by saying that he had just become the proud owner of one of the most influential cars of all time. That being said, to people who know Elon well, that was hardly a surprise, seeing just how big a fan Elon was of the old car. And in a very poetic way, this car joins into the next heading of our list, because just as the Model T kickstarted the automobile revolution, Elon Musk and his Teslas have become responsible for the biggest car revolution since. Teslas. We all knew this was coming. But we must include this portion because, let's face it, ever since Tesla has started to make actually good machines, there's no set of cars which Elon has driven more than his own. From being one of the few owners of the original Tesla Roadster, which stood proudly in his garage until it was actually launched into space in 2018, to having driven numerous Model S and Model X editions over the years, there's no shortage of the T logo in Elon's life. However, that doesn't mean he doesn't like exclusively, because as we've started to learn, Tesla might have a knack for exciting cars too, in the form of Tesla Cybertruck, which as it turns out, Elon was seen driving in Malibu during December of 2019. So I think it's fair to say that whether he's driving a car from history, taking the fast lane in the legends of yore, or driving his own stuff, Elon's car collection is one not to be messed around with. And on that note, we must end today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. With that, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.